Hey everyone, it's me, Christy. Um, it's been a really long time, but I had a dream last night that I can't even put into words. I've honestly been up most of the night since after I had it, and I apologize for how I look. I don't really care. This isn't about me. But this dream has literally shook me to my core. And I'm sorry I'm talking quiet. I'm downstairs. My husband and my youngest daughter is still asleep upstairs. But I wanted to share this dream because, wow. Um, so, I'll just get right into it because um, I do have to go get ready to take my daughter back to the doctor. She's had pneumonia um, and parrot influenza too and a double ear infection. So we have a follow-up today for her asthma. Um, so if you would, please say a prayer for her. But the dream started with me and my husband and our kids somewhere. Um, it actually looked like my old childhood home that I remember. Um, and my kids were older than they are now, about my oldest daughter's seven right now. And in the dream, she probably looked like she was about 12. Um, and then my five-year-old was with her and she looked like she was about seven. So, um, my son wasn't there. And then there was another child in the picture. We have four kids right now, but my husband was holding a baby. I'm not sure if it was ours and where our other two children were. Um, but I'm assuming we heard a loud trumpet or a blast of some sort, like to where I knew the rapture was about to take place like that second like you know I was sitting there waiting for it to happen because of like something we heard we were standing in anticipation that oh my gosh this is it it's really happening now and I have chill bumps telling you this because it makes me emotional it was so real when I woke up I was devastated that it didn't actually happen um but we're standing around listening, anticipating, and I look over at my two daughters, two of them, <clears throat> not the youngest one that I just mentioned. I see this light encompass it, like outlined their bodies and overtook their bodies and they just went up. It happened so fast yet so slow where my eyes could see what was taking place, but I looked at my husband and he looked at me and he looked like he was worried. I was like, it's fine. It's fine. I know where they're going. You know where they're going. And they were just gone. And then I, my husband and I look at each other in anticipation, like, are we going? Is this happening? And I see the same thing start happening to him. I see this outline of light take over his body. And then slowly encompass it and the child in his arms. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is it, you're going. And as he starts to lift up, I grab his hand and I must have been transforming at the same time as him. And when I grab his hand, we shoot through the roof. And it's like, we're going through space and time. I can't put in the words to what it actually felt like things were kind of slowed down and I remember when we got up so far I was thinking oh my gosh I hope he doesn't look back because I know he was worried about wherever our other children were um I can't I really can't remember if the child he had in his arms was our younger child I can't remember um but once we got up in the air and I was thinking that um although I know things were fast as we were moving through space and time basically I was anxious a little bit too and wondering and worrying about oh my gosh I hope he doesn't look back because he's worried about the kids and then this voice said to me do not look back and I didn't I kept my eyes fixated on moving through this the air space I don't I can't explain it I can't put it into words and when we got where we were going we stopped somewhere I don't know I can't explain it we just got to another place and it looked like a gathering place it wasn't like our final destination if that makes sense 
but it was like a gathering place. And there was some people there, but there wasn't a lot yet. And I don't know if it's like how, how it'll happen. I don't know. I'm just telling you what I saw. But there was this man there and he was standing off to the side like he was waiting on us. And some people were going through their emotions like I was when I got there. But whoever this man was, and I perceived him as Jesus, but he doesn't look like the Jesus that I saw, like, in pictures and stuff, you know? Um, he had darker skin, not, like, black, but he wasn't white. Um, he wasn't as pale as me. He was darker, olive, olive-colored skin. And I fell down at his feet and threw my arms around his legs and his feet, and I wept. It was like I couldn't believe that I was there, that it had happened, that I just can't explain it. And I remember opening my eyes in the middle of the night after this happened, and I honest to God could not believe that it didn't really happen. It felt that real to me. And I don't, I'm not saying that's what Jesus looks like. I'm not saying that's how the rapture is going to take place. But I'm telling you, this is one of the most real dreams I've had. And I've had a lot of dreams that have shook me to my core. But to see that, to feel that traveling, like to feel that transformation have taken place in such a way that I really thought it happened. But I just wanted to share this. If you guys have any input or anything, please let me know. I can guarantee you this is going to be on my mind for days, maybe even weeks. Um, I haven't had a dream in quite a while since I posted my last video. But um, I just remember last night that somehow I got on this topic with my husband because of everything that's happened in Iran lately um and I know a lot of people might give backlash for me saying this but this is the only thing I talked about with him before we went before we went to bed it wasn't like I went to bed thinking about the rapture or something he was showing me pictures or memes about the other country's leader that was killed in the airstrikes and I just reminded him I'm like I get what you're saying about all the evil things that the man done I understand that and I don't agree with any agenda set out with ill intent to harm or hurt anyone because it's cruel it's wrong but can I please just remind you that Jesus saw that man's face when he laid down on the cross just as much as he saw our face he created everyone in this world, and whether that man worshipped him or another god, it doesn't change the fact that God still created him, and he still loved him just like he loves us, and he would have still forgiven him if he had come to the loving forgiveness of Jesus Christ and what happened when he laid on that cross and took our place for sin he could have still been forgiven too. But that doesn't, that's a whole other topic that I feel strongly about. And I know that that man probably done a lot of things in his lifetime that I would never care to know about because they're just so terrible. But I just wanted to share this dream with you guys. And as I always say, if there's anyone watching these videos and you do not know Jesus Christ, please ask him into your heart as your Lord and Savior. Know that he loves you so much. And he is sending out all these messages to draw every last person to him before he comes for his church. So please, please come to Jesus while you still have time. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon.